Hey, what's up guys? Dave with Build Alpha here. Uh, in this video, I want to do a quick intro uh, and explanation into Monte Carlo simulations. Um, Build Alpha um, is known for its validation in uh, robustness techniques. Monte Carlo is absolutely one of the staples um, in that suite of tools that Build Alpha offers. Uh, so it would be only fitting for me to go through a quick example. So what is Monte Carlo used for? Now, generally, it is to give us two main ideas. The first, show us a possibility of outcomes um, or a distribution of outcomes that our trading strategy could possess moving forward on new data. And the second is, is to give us a better understanding of the actual risk we're taking so we can make better informed decisions, um, in our case, which strategies to take live and which strategies to keep on the shelf. Okay, so how do you run a simple, or in our case, this original Monte Carlo simulation? Okay, our thick blue line in each graph is our back test results. Our back test results is just if we were to apply our trading strategies rules to historical data, this is how those rules would have performed on historical data. So those trades are in an order, chronological order by date. Now it's unlikely that the sequence of trades is going to play itself out exactly as it did in the past in the future. So a Monte Carlo simulation just shuffles the trades and then replots them 1,000 times. Now each time we do that, we generate, 1, 000, we generate a new path of what our trading system could look like moving forward, assuming that the trades are similar to the uh, backtest trades, the historical trades. Okay, so now how do we use these results? It looks like you're looking at a bunch of spaghetti uh, around the backtest results. So the quickest way to do it is, after what amount of trades does it look like I can be very confident I will be profitable? Now if you look at strategy A, the one on the left, after 150 and 200 trades, there's still some possibilities that are negative or less than zero. However, if you look at strategy B, after 150 or 200 trades, almost all of the possibilities are above zero. So if you know the trade frequency and you know that you want to be profitable, you can judge systems off of this that, hey, I don't want to wait for 250, 300 trades because I know that might mean six months or something um, to be profitable. I want something that's profitable very quickly after maybe 100 trades, 150 trades, um, or even less. You know, that's, that's up to you to determine. Um, and the second way is you can look at the width of the Monte Carlo simulations. So again, let's look at um, trade 200. So in strategy A, you have a range from zero to let's just call it 50,000. Um, in strategy uh, B, at trade 200, you have a range of about 30,000 to about 70,000. So in strategy A, after 200 trades, you have a $50,000 range that you could possibly wind up in. Now in strategy B, it's only a $40,000 range, so you have a little more confidence of where you'll expect to be after n number of trades. Um, and of course, you can see the statistics, statistics at the bottom give you a much better idea of what your drawdown may be. Um, a lot of people use the, the drawdown from the back test. I prefer to use the average drawdown or some variation that comes from the Monte Carlo test. Um, and again, Build Alpha um, supports that at the bottom of each and every Monte Carlo graph. Um, so I hope this was educational. I hope this uh, helps you guys out uh, and stay tuned for some more advanced Monte Carlo methods in later videos.